Hello YouTube, uh, my name is Cole, Disciple of God Ministries. Uh, this YouTube channel is Meet the Bible, M-E-A-T. Um, lots of channels teach milk of the Bible. I just want to, uh, I started this series to focus more on meat in the Bible. Um, a lot of people aren't going to get this. A lot of people aren't going to agree. Depends on where you, level you're at, climbing the ladder. Um, but I, I've extensively studied this material, and 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 I feel I'm extremely accurate in in uh, what I post here. I appreciate you coming here, watching. Uh, I'd be real grateful if you'd subscribe. Um, it takes a while to get these get this launched. It snowballs once it gets it gets going, but. Uh, it, it just, it, it, yeah, it'd be good to have your support, and I appreciate the emails, um, <laughs> you know, constructive uh, comments. It, you know, we're going to differ, you know, great theologians, John Hagee and I disagree on, on things. Um, there's just some really good preachers and really good knowledgeable people out there, but I believe, I feel a lot of this doctrine is based on what I call Mama 316. You know, I wasn't raised a Christian, but a lot of people were. And Mom said that, you know, we're going to fly away in this this uh, rapture doctrine. So, dang it, there must be a going to be a rapture where people don't really read what the word says. Uh, Mama says there's a burning hell, and you're going to suffer for eternity in boiling lava if you don't accept Jesus. <sighs> You know, it's, it's kind of going back to the Santa Claus story. Naughty or nice, and he's watching, and you know, um, but, you know, gotta admit, a lot of parents, perhaps yourself, um, tell kids that certainly close to Christmas time to get the kids to behave. So today, I want to touch uh, on a verse of probably in the future many on uh, what hell is um, the conventional hell that people quote and probably majority believe is nothing but Greek mythology it is absolutely false absent from the body present with the Lord uh, everybody who's ever died is in heaven now, what are you talking about Cole Hitler is in heaven? He is. I have had some guy who got upset with me when I told him that one time. Um, absent from the body, present with the Lord. It really doesn't. That's not what it says. That Paul's saying it's better to be absent and present. But most people have heard that. We'll go with that. Much stronger verse uh, uh, illustrates it, however. But, and go to Luke 16. Got uh, Luke is talking about Dr. Luke, the left side of heaven and the right side of heaven. The wicked are on the left side of Jesus, of God, and the sheep are on the right side. Okay, you die today, you're a Christian, you go to heaven, and you're put on the right side of Jesus, right side of God, and I'm sure things are pretty good. If you're not Christian, you go up on the left side, and I think things are still probably all right. They're just, you know, you know, I don't know, don't have it clean as sheets or something. <sighs> Boy, that this uh, you know, right now I can see <laughs> people turning this, uh, turning the channel. Um, but that's what it says, and and what I base that on is until Revelation 20, the great white throne judgment. Okay, we haven't been judged yet. I I, I minister in in uh, prison, and and uh, everyone in there has been convicted. Okay, and sent. We haven't. We we haven't been judged yet. No one's been convicted yet. Okay, you're you're waiting for the great white throne judgment. At which case, those who do not make the cut will be thrown into the lake of fire. Coincidentally, later on, well, actually, it's about the same time. God, the Godhead, comes here to Earth and judges. Jesus judges us when He comes, and the God judges non-believers um, some will make the cut and some some won't and they'll be uh, for a variety of reasons um, I I don't know 30 year old mentally ill you don't have the capacity to understand right from wrong and collect and uh, 
necessarily believe in God, you know, it's not going to throw, you know, you, so you have to be judged. Great white throne judgment. What a coincidence. So, but what happens though, and there'll be other classes on this, but teachings, but what happens when you're thrown in that lake of fire in the end? If not us, not Christians, hopefully not you. Um, again, I teach these subjects and they're touchy, but the, it's the meat. And people aren't going to agree because mama told them there's a hell, so, you know, it's got to be a hell. Preacher says it, you know, I understand that. But what does the scripture say? More importantly, what does the manuscript, the manually scripted written Bible? Well, I don't know because it's in Hebrew and Greek, a little Aramaic. I don't speak those, I don't read those. So myself, I'm dependent upon a translation. Okay, but my translation, and I'm a, I'm a big King James fan, in Psalms 37, 20, okay? Psalms 37, 20 says, But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs they shall consume into smoke shall they consume away the psalms 37 20 king james well what does that mean well they, they, you know they cooked a lot of lamb back then but today it would relate to uh to a chicken you know to a barbecued chicken and the last time you barbecued a chicken right and 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 then the, fat would come off the skin of the chicken or come off and hit the fire and it would spew and steam would come up and it, you know the last time you cook that smoke is still in the air it's a carbon atom it's still up in the air it's there and it'll be there for eternity the 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 chicken well, the chicken's not feeling a thing that chicken long gone <laughs> um, the smoke will ascend forever Okay, the chicken has perished, and the wicked will perish. And let's look at John 3.16. John 3.16, I hear that all the time, right? If you accept Jesus, for whomsoever, anybody, anybody, black, white, male, female, you know, it don't matter. Anybody who accepts Jesus, believe unto, which means all-encompassing, which, by the way, means the trinity, um, for you JWs, um, if you believe upon your spirit, your soul shall never perish. Well, wait, 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 wait. What happens if you don't believe? Um, at least two thirds of uh, the world doesn't. So what happens to their souls? Well, we just said, if you believe, you will not perish. So if you don't believe, your soul is going to perish, and it will perish in the lake of fire after the great white throne judgment. Okay, God, the Godhead, comes to earth. He, God, is the lake of fire. He's a consuming fire. He will burn out the wicked. It, it'll, it'll be just flamed out when he comes out. Jesus judges us Christians in the bema seat. Okay, God will judge non-believers, and and you know if you're a thirty-year-old. Uh, you know, mentally off guy who can't comprehend right from wrong, you're going to go to the lake of fire. It's not your fault. That's why children are innocent, because they have not reached the age of accountability. Even though you're of the age, you're mentally not the age. You're not going to go into the lake of fire. But who does? And when they do, it, it's really going to be painless. It's going to be uh, quick and you're going to be gone. No one's going to remember you, and you're not going to remember anything. And that's, again, a different class, but it's Luke 16. Um, the, the, the sheep are on the, 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 the sheep would be Lazarus, okay? He's in the bosom of Abraham, okay? That would be the right side of God. Okay, the rich man, which is not his crime being rich, his name's Dives. I don't know why they don't say his name, but he's on the other side, okay? And he wants to get on the good side. So he, if you remember the story, he, he asks, he, he just wants to dip the, the tip. He, they say he's thirsty and all this. He wants to dip his finger in the water. Okay. 
that if you're th really thirsty, that dipping your finger in water is going to do crap. But what it really says, and I'll have a class on this, is dip the tip of his finger in the water. Well, that's even less. Well, what's that about? Because it's the living water. It's the water at the well that Jesus offered uh, the woman who later became a disciple. Um, she wanted that living water. Well, this rich man wanted just enough water, just enough, a fingertip, to get on the other side of the great white gulf described by Dr. Luke. Um, so he didn't have to, you know, he had everything on earth and now he's over there and I don't want to say ghetto, but not so nice area. And you got to go back to Jesus and in the, in, in, in when he was in the tomb and NIV and some of these others will say that he went to to hell. Okay, he, that's not what the manuscripts say. The manually scripted um, Bible, the original Hebrew and Greek and some Aramaic says he went to prison. Well, where's prison? Prison is on the left side of Jesus. So, say this several times. Left side of God. Okay, Christians who have died are on the right side of God. Well, they're waiting the great white throne judgment. Now, Jesus went there. says he went back to, to Noah, but he really went probably back to Adam. He said, look, here's the deal. I'm Jesus. I died. They crucified me. It sucked. Um, but if you accept me, if you believe this, you can come over on this side, the heaven side, the paradise side. The um, Bible says that he, he, he led captivity, you know, captive. He led them free. Didn't lead everybody. So why didn't everybody get on the boat? Why didn't everybody take him up on it? Because Satan is so convincing. He is such a good liar. Okay, that he's convinced them, yeah, it may look good right now, but in the long term, it's going to be, you know, it's going to go away or something. Um, he, the point is, he did not take everyone. So the, it's not boiling in lava like we think. And when the end comes, it's not going to be. God isn't going to sit there with all of us, all his children, and we live this great life, and everybody's happy singing Come by Yah. And, and, and no, we don't see bad. We don't see our loved ones and relatives that are in that, what most people think is hell, boiling in lava. God would witness it daily, 24 hours a day for eons, for, you know, billions of years. Um, that's not my God. My God is not going to sit there and witness his, his creative beings who made the decision uh, the 70, 80 years they were on earth, to, uh, made the decision not to accept them. And John 6, 44, um, you, you, you know, the only way to get to God is through Jesus. But the only way to Jesus is if God draws you, John 6, 44. And the word is actually drag, uh, the Hebrew word, but, um, or, excuse me, the Greek word, but that's another class. Um, if you haven't accepted it, I wouldn't recommend that. I think you should. It makes life a lot easier. Um, God, went, Jesus went away and sent us the Comforter, and we are comforted by being a Christian in, in you know, what can be considered hard times at times. But the wicked die now and go on the left of God. Christians go on the right. The sheep go on the right. And we talked about the false rapture doctrine, um, the dead in Christ size. Well, that's a different story. But at the great white throne judgment, you, the wicked will perish. God is a consuming fire. When he comes to earth, all the elements, earth not, is not burnt up. Um, 2 Peter 2.15, uh, uh, the elements are burnt up, okay, to include the wicked. You know, uh, separate the tares, burn the tares, another, another class, another story. But appreciate you watching. Um, I, I'd be grateful if you'd subscribe and, and, and check that little box where you get an email if I add another video and come and see and let me know what you think. You know, make a comment. Um, I appreciate your the constructive <laughs> criticism I've gotten through the through uh, the years since I've been doing this. Um, again, this channel, Meet the Bible, is new, and it, it, it just takes a long time to get going. Once it does, it'll snowball, but I'd appreciate a, a subscription, rate, um, and email me. Tell me what you think. Um, Team Jesus, God bless. Bye.